A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St Luke chapter 9 verses 46 to 50 Passage taken from the message version of the Bible They started arguing over which of them would be the most famous When Jesus realized how much this mattered to them he brought a child to his side Whoever accepts this child as if the child were me accepts me he said and whoever accepts me accepts the one who sent me you become great by accepting not asserting your spirit not your size makes the difference john spoke up master we saw a man using your name to expel demons and we stopped him because he wasn't of our group Jesus said don't stop him if he is not an enemy he is an ally the gospel of the lord reflections on the gospel according to st luke chapter 9 verses 46 to 50 Today's gospel speaks of some on the job training for the disciples of Jesus. Jesus identifies two attitudes of the mind and heart, jealousy and envy, that are obstacles to true discipleship. The disciples are going through their schooling during their 3 years with Jesus. An argument arose among the disciples about which of them was the greatest, narrates Luke. Perhaps this was Luke's way of addressing the issue of the power struggle in his own community. Luke explains the meaning of power and greatness in the eyes of Jesus. Normally power is understood as the ability to control things or people according to one's own will. For Jesus, power is the ability and willingness to gift himself entirely to the cause of the gospel. We understand power as domination but Jesus understands them as surrender sacrifice capacity to love The disciples of Jesus must have been trying to establish their chances of being in important positions when Jesus would establish his kingdom So they put forth their credentials for the job and there is an argument The situations have only moved from bad to worse. We live in a world that promotes a relentless fight in which the weak disappear and the strongest and the best prepared ones alone succeed in life. The law that moves our world today is the law of competitiveness. The apostles of Jesus experienced it as we read about it in today's gospel. They believe that because they are from the group of those close to Jesus because they were the first ones to follow Jesus they deserve an important place and it seems logical and normal but Jesus puts a child in front of them this image of the child may not be that easy to understand in today's world today children occupy the most important places in our homes in our societies They are the treasure of today's society. But the Jewish society of the time of Jesus was different. Women and children had no voice in the society. A child represented the weakest in the group. And when Jesus picks up the child and places it in the center of their discussion, he was advocating a reversal of priorities. In God's scheme of things, the weakest the poor the abandoned and the sinners occupy the center stage and they are the most important people in god's kingdom attending to these important people in the kingdom is the only criterion to find favor with god to welcome and surrender to the last as a way to be the first